Hello, my name is Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com, and today we're looking at the Boogie Bug Black Pearl Small Form Factor case. What comes included with the case is an assortment of fixtures, screws, and fittings. You also get a PCI expansion bracket. You also get this instruction guide, very, very simple and brief and to the point, but there's not a lot to this case to sort of need a massive instruction guide for. You also get a USB instruction guide, which basically just tells you the various different headers and connectors that will connect up the various different functions on the front of the case. And you also get this different uh, fascia for the front. This one's silver, and obviously the one that comes with the case connected already is the black version. Taking a look at the front of the case, we can see that it's got this black fascia that we spoke about. You can also see that it's got two spaces for CD-ROMs, as well as a floppy drive or uh, some kind of a USB card reader, that kind of thing that you'd connect into the front of the case. Some of the connections on the front of the case, we've got two USB ports, a microphone and headphone port. You also get a firewire port, a power button, and a reset button. Now taking a look at the back of the case, we can see exactly where the power supply would go up here, and it's got a sort of rail that it runs along to help support the power supply up. It's also got this huge fan which is going to help dissipate the heat out the back of the case, as well as all these ventilation holes along here. We can also see that it's got ventilated PCI expansion brackets, and exactly where the I.O. panel shield plate goes. This one may need to be changed depending on your motherboard. It may have a various uh, different setup of connections, so you may need to change that, but the I.O. panel shield plate will come with your motherboard. Boogie Bug have really tried to sort of style this case by adding lots of ventilation holes to it whilst maintaining the overall look. So we spoke about the back having quite a few ventilation holes. We can also see that on the sides it's got ventilation holes running almost from the back of the case to the front. So lots of heat is going to be dissipated out of all areas of this case. By flipping the case on the side we can get an overall look at exactly what's inside the case. So we can see that we have this sort of bracket bay here which obviously is going to hold your hard drives. We can also see exactly where the CD drives go and where the floppy drive would go along here. We can see the huge exhaust fan in the back and we can also see all the various different connections for the front of the case. Some of the connections include the audio, we have headers for the power switch, reset, hard drive LED, power LED and so on. And we also have some more connections here which are for the 1394 Firewire and USB. If, like me, you're constantly working on your computer, taking bits out, putting new bits in, obviously with us being a review site, I'm doing that day in, day out. You will want a case that's more sort of open plan, and this case is exactly that, because once you've taken off the top, you can also take off the side, so you're left with a, a bare bone chassis. All you can see is the front of the case and the back of the case. So inside you can see exactly what we spoke about, where the hard drives would go, where the DVD drives would go, and also where the motherboard would go, they've also actually included the stops already in there. So this will take a micro ATX form factor motherboard, and you will notice that all the different sort of places and the points to mount the motherboard are in exactly the same place for every motherboard. So it's pretty much just get the case, get your internals, including your motherboard, CPU, memory, and off you go. There's not a lot to do. There is a couple of things that I would have liked to see in this case. Uh, I mean, you can unscrew all these various different brackets, but the PCI expansion uh, slots, I would have liked to see a screwless, uh, a screwless design. Uh, I'm not too keen on actually popping it out because sometimes with a screwdriver, you end up uh, scratching things, and you don't want to do that to your brand new case. So it would have been nice to see uh, a little bit more of a toolless design. Obviously, taking this off, uh, taking the top off, it was just a matter of unscrewing a, a thumb screw, but that is pretty much the only part of the case it is. Uh, screwless. Just taking another quick look at the back of the case, you can see that there's quite a few screws on here, some of them holding on to the fan, some of them being rivets to basically put the case together, but there's a couple which, one is here, one here, and one here, and also one down here. Once you unscrew that, the motherboard tray will actually come out, which obviously is going to help when installing things, because it is quite a small form factor case, it's quite tight with these rails in, in here as well, so taking out the motherboard tray is going to be quite beneficial to get into the case and put your motherboard in because sometimes it can be quite tricky and quite fiddly. Now taking a look at the underside of the case, we can see that it's got these four feet to prop the case up. Obviously that helps with vibration properties, but also on these feet they have got rubber. Uh, so it's like a bit of a sponge, so obviously any vibrations it's going to take that impact and it's not going to be a noisy case. We can also see that over here there is a screw here and a screw down here. Once you actually take these screws out, the front bezel will actually come out and obviously you can put in that silver one that we showed you earlier on in the review. 
Now that you've actually seen the review, I just want to share some of my thoughts on the actual case. It is a small form factor case, but to be honest, I don't consider it really as a small form factor case. I consider Azus and Shuttle making the very small cases. Uh, I would class them as a small form factor. This is quite a bit larger, but not as large as a normal full size case. So it's something in between. There is a couple of gripes that I've got with the case. The first one is the fact that you have to use a low profile heatsink design because of the actual clearance between the motherboard tray and the actual rail which supports the uh, bracket for the hard drives and DVD drives. Um, so you do have to buy a specialist uh, heatsink for that. So this is going to obviously give you uh, quite a small criteria to work with. There's not many low profile heat sinks on the market and uh, the other gripe that I've really got with it is just the overall sort of feel of it it doesn't feel fantastically built especially the hard drive cage um, once we'd actually installed a system into uh, the case and decided to sort of see what it was like there was quite a bit of vibration coming from the hard drive bay so they're my only gripes with the case but overall it is quite a good product and I'm going to have to give it three out of five stars